Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr. D here. Today we're going to learn about the cardiovascular system. Our learning intention for this mini lesson to learn about the cardiovascular system and its components. Our success criteria. I can identify and explain the role of the three main components and I can identify the four chambers of the heart. So, what makes up the cardiovascular system? There are three components. We have blood vessels, blood, and the heart. Let's have a deeper dive into these. So first up, we have blood vessels. These carry blood around the body. There's two main types, arteries and veins. Arteries, they carry oxygenated blood away from the heart towards the body. They are represented in red. Veins, they carry deoxygenated blood from the body back to the heart and they are often represented in blue. So here's a diagram of all the blood vessels of the body. As we can see, there's a high concentration around our intestines, our lungs, and our brain. This is because these are highly important organs that require a high blood flow to carry various things to and from them. In this animation here, we can see what they look like up close. We have a narrow passageway with blood flowing through them. So next up, we have blood. Blood carries oxygen, nutrients, immunity cells, and waste products around the body. And this is what it looks like under a microscope. It's hundreds and thousands of tiny little blood cells. They are shaped like a round donut pressed in in the middle. Finally, we have the heart. The heart is a muscle that pumps blood around the body. And this diagram shows us how. It is a muscle, so it contracts and relaxes, pushing blood around the body. Let's have a closer look at the heart. So the heart has four chambers. Before we look into it, it's very important to note that when we look at images of the heart, left equals right and right equals left. This is because if a doctor, for example, is looking down at a patient, then everything is opposite. So blood comes from the body without oxygen, comes to the right atrium. It is then pumped into the right ventricle. This is then pumped out of the pulmonary trunk to the lungs. And this is where it gets oxygenated. Once oxygenated, this blood returns via the pulmonary veins to the left atrium, is pumped to the left ventricle, and then from here is pumped via the aorta to the rest of the body. As we can see, this is a really thick wall of muscle here, and this is because the blood has to be pumped throughout the entire body. Well done, you made it. Let's review to see if you've learned about the cardiovascular system and its components. Let's do this by reviewing our success criteria. So our first success criteria, can you identify and explain the role of the three main components? You need your pen and paper for this. Write down one, two, and three. Write down the three components and explain their roles. How did you go? First component is blood vessels. They carry blood. The second is blood. This carries oxygen and various compounds around the body. And the third is the heart. This is the engine. This pumps blood around the body. Our second success criteria, can you identify the four chambers of the heart? One, two, three, four. Again, you'll need your pen and paper. Write down one, two, three, and four, and then write down which is which. How did you go? So number one, that is our right atrium. Number two, right ventricle. Number three, the left atrium. And number four is the left ventricle. Remember my top tip for this one, left equals right and right equals left. Well done. You've now learned about the cardiovascular system and its components. Thanks very much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Do you have another idea for a video you like? Comment below.